Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pontiac shop. Today I am in our 2005 Jeep Liberty CRD, and today I'm going to be changing out our uh, radio. I'm going to be showing y'all folks how to change out a radio in a 2005 Jeep Liberty CRD. Um, that's all I have to say, so uh, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so here I am. Uh, this is the old radio. The volume button does not work properly, and so... It'll just randomly shut off and you won't be able to hear the music. And uh, I got this replacement off of uh, Facebook from a friend in this off-road group. Uh, it's a, a nice thing about this one is uh, obviously this is the replacement so it works. And it has a six disc CD changer. And this one is only a single. So that'll be a pretty fun upgrade. Uh, anyway, let's, let me show you how to start taking this off. So you have this screw right here. It's that little black hole that there's a Phillips head screw right there. Uh, you can also put a socket on it if you do not have a screwdriver or you would prefer to use a socket. Um, once that is off, um, I will show you what to do next. Hey folks, real quick, uh, the camera stopped recording after I removed that screw and I only just now realized that as I am in editing. So I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, so once you've taken out that screw right in there, right there, once you've taken out that screw, there are four clips, one, two, three, four, but don't worry, they are metal clips, and all you have to do is uh, either use a prying tool, stick it in the side, or use your hand. I'd, <laughs> I'd definitely use two hands. This is the, It's all screwed in right now, so I'm not gonna take it out again, uh, but what you could do, what, what you gotta do is pull out right here, pull out right here, and then pull out up here, and pull out up here, and then you will be able to take this panel off. All right, back to the video. Alrighty, now I've gotten the panel off, and the next step is simply unscrewing the radio. Um, I've stuck this all the way back in the first gear, so I have room to work. Uh, you can unplug your climate control system from right back here if you need to. Uh, the, right now the wire's a little stiff, because it's uh, snowing outside, you know, it's the middle of winter. Uh, I'm not going to unplug these, because I think I have enough room. Uh, but the next step is you have one two, three, four screws, uh, Phillips head screws. Uh, you can also use a ratchet and socket on these as well, but I'm not going to. Just uh, unscrew that. Careful not to lose the screws, we're gonna need those later. Stick that in the cup holder. Uh, I'm going to do the rest of these, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that all four screws have been removed, be careful not to break this. This is plastic, but you just want to pull straight out, and that releases the radio. Um, not too sure if I'm going to be able to do this with one hand, though. Uh, but let me try and try and show you folks what you got to do. Screws are pretty tight in here, but back here, that's your antenna. You want to unplug that, just grab by the metal bit and pull straight out. And then right there is your steering controls and, well, not steering controls, sorry. Uh, you have your radio controls, your power, and you have uh, wheel button controls. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove these because these wires are a little short. I'm going to need both hands, uh, but I'll give you all a better look in just one minute. Alrighty, I have the old radio out right here in my hand. As you can see, you have... Uh, <clears throat> radio button controls and steering wheel controls uh, for the buttons on your steering wheel so you can radio and all that. You got power and you have your antenna. You know, the antenna that goes out there so you got signal. Uh, this guy is probably going to be sold for parts or actually I might hang on to him for just in case I uh, need to steal something off of him but this has the exact same stuff on the rear. Same plugs. It's simple plug and play and we'll have a six disc working CD changer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, if anything comes up, I'll let you know, but it will just be a reverse process of putting all the screws back in and pushing the panel back on. Alrighty, I got all four screws put in. One, two, three, and four. Do not uh, get these screws mixed up with these screws. If you remove these, you will move this uh, little plastic display thing here, you know, for visuals and all that. But uh, Next step I can do with one hand, you just uh, simply push on the panel. One, two, three, and four. 
And now your panel is properly clamped in. And then you just have this one Phillips head screw that goes in down there. Maybe I can thread, in the, thread it in with my fingers. Yep, take my screwdriver, get it on there, just like so. Perfect. And now I have a brand new, brand new to me, radio for my 2005 Jeep Liberty CRD diesel. And I can put six CDs in there instead of just one. It's pretty sweet. Yep. Uh, the battery's disconnected right now because it's winter and uh, this, ba this baby needs some work. Uh, Got to put the new CV axles in there, but I'm going to quickly reconnect the battery and show you guys this thing working. Alrighty. Sounds like it's uh, thinking and getting used to its new spot, but yeah, look at that. It, I just pressed number one and it's waiting for a disc, but I don't have one, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push the power button. There we go, now she's turned off. Set in mode, I don't know how to change the uh, time or any of that, but what I'm gonna do now is, so her battery's a little low, but let's see if we can get a cold start out of her. Let's see here, wait for the red light to turn off. No, nope, not enough power, but uh, anyway, gotta stick her back in the park, turn the key, and there we go. That's the brand new, brand new to me radio installed into our Jeep Liberty. Hope to have more videos of her, uh, but with that, folks, I'm gonna end it here. I hope y'all enjoyed, I hope this was helpful. Um, that's all I have to say, so I hope I'll see y'all in the next one.